Hey YouTube, it's your boy J Miles. This evening, we're back with another video. This evening, we're gonna be doing uh, mac and cheese bites, which is one of my favorite dishes in the world. So, here we go. And plus, that's the elbows. Oh yeah, macaroni. Oh yeah, the breadcrumbs. The 2% milk. And also the butter that I'm gonna have for my sauce. And plus, that's the all-purpose flour that I'm going to need for my baked meal sauce. And also, that's the taco blend. Because, you know, I got to have that. And plus, all we, all we got now, something <laughs> that, is, that is something left is the eggs and stuff. But I'm not going to use that until tomorrow. So, that's why it's the first part of the video, which is the, the prepping video of, of this. So, yeah. Way to, I'm going to keep you updated once I get started with my sauce and stuff. Hey, guys, I'm back. Huh. Once you got everything prepped up, prepped up, all you gotta do just turn turn the stove on to medium. That's what we want. Like, that's what we want our stove stoves to be on and stuff. So yeah, so here's the skillet. And boom, all y'all let this do and just let it warm up for a bit. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I oh yeah, once the stuff is warming up so I can put the butter in. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> once once the skillet is warmed up for a bit. All you gotta do just put you about six or five teaspoons of butter. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do six. That was so. Yeah, I won't. Uh, let's see. So that won't it won't uh rain on stuff. So yeah. So yeah. Once you got your butter in here, all you gotta do just scroll it around and boom, just let it melt and stuff. So yeah, way too. I'm going to keep you updated once the butter is finally melted. Hey guys, I'm back. So the butter is finally melted. Hey, once the butter is finally melted, all you got to do is just add you one or two teaspoons of all-purpose flour. Yeah, you got to add, add that since we're going to... I'm going to do this just about half and stuff. So yeah. Okay, once you... Got your all-purpose flour in here to make your roux. All you gotta do, just stir it in. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just, just, just stir that uh, choker in until it's all nice into a roux. So yeah, that's all you gotta do. It just, yeah, make yourself roux and stuff. So yeah. Yep, cedar. That's all I did and stuff. So yeah. Way too. I'm gonna keep it updated once I get my roux situated. Hey guys, I'm back. So there you have it. So that's how you make a roux. But don't worry though. I didn't I'll see. I didn't try to add too much butter, but I only add one one more time of butter stem and stuff. So yeah. So here's your roux. Okay, once you make make your roux, all you gotta do just pour you some milk. Yeah, you gotta pour, yeah, pour you some milk. And boom, that's enough. Okay, once you pour your milk, all you gotta do, just stir it in until it's all nice and even and stuff. So yeah, just keep on stirring in. Oh right, yeah, that way so that stuff won't stick on the bottom of the, of the uh, skillet. Stuff so yeah. Way too, I'm gonna keep you a little once it gets started on the macaroni. Hey guys, I'm back, so sorry. I'm a little shaky since we on my tripod couldn't come reach come reach that that way and stuff so yeah so that's why I, I use my hand so yeah okay once you got the water all you gotta do just get you some water once you got your water all you gotta do just all right turn it up to to uh, a little higher and stuff so yeah that way so the water will boil will boil overhead once you did did that all you gotta do just add you some salt. That way, that way, uh, that way, so the noodles won't stick and stuff. So yeah, and boom, there you go. Way too. I'm gonna keep it updated once I uh, see once the water is boiling, and I'm gonna check on the stuff that is gonna thicken up the baked meal sauce and keep you updated. Hey guys, I'm back. So yeah, once I mean, once the stuff is uh, coming uh, coming up to a boil, that means it's gonna thick up. Oh yeah, the baking meal sauce, the stuff. 
Yeah, you can tell that it's coming from the oh yeah, from the smoke. Yeah, this stuff is finally so, yeah, starting to dick up, but not quite though. Since you know, it's still oh yeah, this stuff is still liquid. Yeah, I want uh, once you do that, I do just keep on starting it in until it's dicking up and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, and I can see some lumps, but nobody wants that and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep it updated once it's starting to, uh, once the stuff is starting to stick up, I mean, to dick up. Hey guys, I'm back. You can tell that this stuff is finally dicking up. So yeah. Like, hallelujah. That stuff's finally dicking up and stuff. So yeah. All you do just turn it on to the Well, turn this on completely and move it out of the way. So yeah, and I'm a huge did it once I get to the bacon meal sauce. Hey guys, I'm back. So yeah, once I got the bacon meal sauce away from the heat, that way so it won't be cooking. All you gotta do just add a little Tony's. And of course a pinch of salt. Don't wanna add too much though. Some pepper. Some garlic powder. Some accent. Give a little flavor. Some Parmesan cheese. Last but not least, it's some cheese. It's some Taco Blend cheese that I got from Walmart. So, yeah. I'm gonna add two pan fills that was so it can stay cheesy, you know? Cheesy, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, once you got all that stuff in there, last thing to do, just stir it in. Until it's all nice and cheesy. Like nacho cheese, you know? Uh -huh. Just keep on stirring this stuff in until you can see, see this yellow efficiency. So, yeah. Yeah, that stuff is turning yellow and stuff. So, yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to keep it with it once I get that stuff back to the heat. Hey, guys, I'm back. So. Yeah, once your water is still boiling, but it's, it's quite getting there, but not quite. All you gotta do, just let it completely boil and stuff, so yeah. Well, guys, I'm gonna keep it updated once the water is completely boiled. Hey, guys, I'm back. You can tell that the stuff is like finally, oh yeah, it's finally all hey, cheesy and stuff. That means I finally got my cheese sauce at the, at the right consistency and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, check it out, but I got some stuff that is blocking the bacon meal sauce, but don't worry though, I got most of it taken care of, but maybe, but I'm gonna leave it how it is and stuff, so yeah, it's, that's the cheese sauce for you, since we're gonna have for mac and cheese by tomorrow, and stuff, so yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated, since we're not gonna have it on low, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the noodles into the water. Hey guys, I'm back. So the water is finally boiling. So yeah, <clears throat> once the once the water is boiling, all you do is just throw you some macaroni in there. Just for now, I gotta let it be even. So yeah, once you do once you did that, all you do is just stir it in. Yeah, that's all you do. Just stir it in Int until it's not sticking stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep it once the macaroni is fully done. Hey guys, I'm back. You can tell that the macaroni is is fully cooked, like finally. But don't worry though, I'll wash this off. Yep. Oh yeah, fully cooked and stuff, so yeah. But all we gotta do now just strain the macaroni, but I'm not gonna film that and stuff, so yeah. Way too, I'm gonna keep it updated once I get the macaroni and stuff strain down. Plus, I'm gonna put it in this. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep it updated once they get the macaroni strained. Hey guys, I'm back. Once you got your macaroni strained out, all you gotta do is just 
I had poured in there on, on, on this pot that, that I'm saving up. Boom, once you got all that stuff in there. And boom, check it out. Macaroni in the other pot. Once you got once you, once you got the macaroni in there, all you have to do just pour you pour that cheese cheese sauce in there. Yeah, you gotta pour oh yeah, you gotta pour all the stuff in there. I gotta make sure. Since you know I gotta have enough so the macaroni and so the mac and cheese bites will like stay creamy and stuff, so yeah. Okay, once you once you did that, all you have to do just turn the heat back on to a little medium. Yeah, once you got your cheese sauce poured into the macaroni, all you have to do just stir it in. Yeah, that's all you have to do, just stir it in. Until it's all well coated and creamy and all this creamy goodness and stuff. So yeah, just keep on stirring it. Until it's all until it's all well even and stuff. So yeah, that's where it's that's what it takes. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the stuff stirred in. Hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, once you got the stuff stirred in, and boom, here's the mac and cheese. And let's see, and what we're gonna do now, I have right there. I have to cook this little, or just put it, I have to put it in the pan that way so I can, I have, so I can have it, I have for tomorrow. Since you know, it'll be cool. Hey, that stuff is it's gonna be cool, cool tomorrow. Since you know, I, I gotta cool the stuff off and stuff, so yeah. Yep, all I do now, just let it sit for a bit, and boom, we're gonna be put, putting this in the pan. I don't know when, but I'm gonna do, do it right away and stuff, so yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated on that. Hey, got some back. Yeah, once you cook this for a bit. Yep, check it out. All nice and creamy. And we're looking done. So, yeah. All you gotta do is just turn this off. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get to the pan. Where I can put this macaroni and cheese in there. Hey, got some back. Once you got this pan, hopefully, uh, yeah, all this stuff is, uh, all this stuff fits. But I think the Little bit bigger pan can work, but we'll see though. So yeah, oh yeah. Once you get, we'll see. Once you got all this stuff, and you just pour the whole thing in there. Yeah. Sorry about that. That quiet. Yeah, you gotta pour that stuff in there. So yeah. Once you pour this stuff in there, just. Do this. Spread. Oh, you spread it out. You gotta be even and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep it once I get the foil out. Hey, got some back. Once you, oh, you got your macaroni and cheese, spread it out. Oh yeah, do just put some foil on there. And bang. Just do it kind and stuff. So yeah. And that's all you gotta do and stuff. So yeah, way too. I'm gonna keep it updated once I get this stuff in the fridge. Who? Hey guys, I'm back. So once, oh yeah, one, oh yeah, see, once that's over, and boom, there you go. That's the macaroni and cheese that I'm gonna use for the, for the mac and cheese bites throwing tomorrow and stuff. So yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, looking nice. So yeah, all you gotta do, you just close this, and boom, that's how you do it and stuff. So yeah. Waytube, I'm gonna keep you updated so I can get back to you. Hey guys, I'm back. I am now that the macaroni and cheese that I made from, from scratch is in the fridge and stuff. So yeah, but I'm not gonna I make it until tomorrow. So that I, that's a prepping video, which is part one, but let's see, but I'm gonna be cooking it for part two and stuff, so yeah. And one more thing. Yeah, and check up. I check. Uh, see, check our dog out. That chilling, laying on, laying on the floor. Ain't that right, boy? Huh? Ain't that right? Yeah, your boy is making mac and cheese bites, huh? So yeah. And that's gonna wrap up. And I'm gonna keep you updated in the morning and stuff. So yeah, when I cook the mac and cheese bites. Hey guys, I'm back. So it's been cooling, cooling like overnight. So we check on the mac and cheese. And bam, there you go. That's how you do it. So yeah, all you gotta do just 
then cut it into squares if I'm trying those. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the stuff is cut. Hey, you got some back. So once you cut the downsides, all you gotta do just do I do the same. Just go, just go backwards. Yeah, just keep on doing this. And boom, that's how you're doing stuff. So yeah. Oh yeah, way too. I'm gonna keep you updated once I get I get these separated and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated on that. Hey, you got some back. So yeah, I finally got my oh yeah macaroni cheese pe all your pieces into squares. Oh yeah, that's why I like it and stuff. So yeah, yeah, check those ones out. All nice and separate and stuff. So yeah, way too. I'm gonna keep you updated. Since we know, I got let's see, I got the flour, eggs, and also the breadcrumbs set up. That that way, so on to do all that just to make this video super long and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep you updated once I get started. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, once you got your flour and stuff set up, all you gotta do just get you a couple pieces in there. Just just do it like this. Just do it all around until. It is cold and stuff, so yeah, and that's why I'm trying to not, not to break it. So that's why I gotta be careful. So yeah, and do the same thing, this, this, and that. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep it video once to get all this coated. Okay, once you cut, I'll see, cover your mac and cheese and flour. All I see, all I gotta do just hit <laughs> egg washing and stuff. So yeah. Way too. I'm gonna keep it in once I get to uh, get to the egg wash. Hey, got some back. Once you get get your uh, get to the at, uh, egg wash, all you do just all you dip all you dip the egg wash in there. That way, so it can fry nice and smoothly. You know what I mean? Fry it up nice and smoothly. So yeah. And boom, like that. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get to the breadcrumbs. Hey guys, I'm back. Once you get to the breadcrumbs, all you gotta do this. I had covered the mac and cheese bites. Oh yeah, I had, let's see, coat. I had coat the stuff in there. It's just all well coated and stuff. So yeah. And boom, there you go. Just and do the same thing over and over again until all this stuff is coated and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep it updated once I get the last one coated. Hey guys, I'm back. So there you have it. So that's the mac and cheese bites that that is that, that I'll see that is well coated with the flour, egg, and also the bre and also the breadcrumbs. And that, that's how you prepare mac and cheese spice and stuff. So, yeah. Wait till you, I'm going to keep you updated once I get all the mac and cheese bites. I get the rest of the mac and cheese bites well coated and stuff. So, yeah. I'm going to keep you updated. Hey, you got some back. Ooh. I'll see. I finally got the, I get the mac and cheese bites setting set up. And check it out. All nice and well coated like meatballs. Like moi. Check it out. Those babies are prepared. Oh, see, are going to get ready for some fried PS. They're ready for frying and stuff. So, yeah. Way too. I'm going to keep updated once I get the oil and stuff set up. Hey, got some back. Once you get, once you get to, your, to, uh, to your skillet, all you do is hey, turn it on the medium. That was so it won't burn up. Once you turn your heater, uh, your stuff on, all you do is just add you some canola oil. Since we know. I just, I just see, I just got me a spare that way, it's, yeah, that way in case I, I'm going to run out and stuff, so yeah. And I'm keeping it updated once I pour some of the new oil in there. Hey, guys, I'm back. Well, you know, I pour some of some the new, new oil in there, so check it out. So that's the new oil. Mm-hmm, so yeah. But all we're going to do is just let, hey, let the oil heat up and boom, boom, Frying this baby up and stuff, so yeah. Way too, I'm uh, keep you updated once the oil is, is like heating up. 
Hey guys, I'm back. Hey, want your oil oils hot enough? Oh yeah, do you just dip your food in there? Yeah, you gotta dip it in there. Until you, until you get some of it in, in there and stuff, so yeah. And you can tell that the oil isn't definitely hot enough, but maybe and stuff, so yeah, but I don't know. We'll see, and I'm gonna keep it updated once I get most of the mac and cheese bites in there. Hey guys, I'm back. So, uh, yeah, that's all the mac and cheese that I'm gonna put in there, but I'm gonna add another batch and stuff, so yeah, but looks like I made a huge, huge mistake. And I'm just, I don't understand, P.S. I did everything right, P.S. I just waited for the oil to be hot enough, but I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not usually good, let's see, good at this. Let's see, frying on, on the stove thing, only on the frying stuff, so yeah. Way too, I'm gonna keep you updated once the, the first batch of mac and cheese bites are fried up. Hey guys, I'm back. Whew, you can tell that the stove is yet frying up again. It finally frying up. Since we know I made a huge mistake, I should have turned it. I, I shouldn't have turned the heat up a little more. Since we know I'm gonna burn, I burned the mac and cheese bites like I did, like I did the other uh, couple months. But yeah, and that's why I, that's why I love to fry stuff on the fryer instead of this because I'm usually too about that and stuff. So yeah. Way too, I'm gonna keep it updated once the stuff is, uh, once the mac and cheese bites are fried up. Hey guys, I'm back. So the first batch is done. All we gotta do, all we gotta do is just take these out. And also, I got a scoop, scooper. Uh, yeah, just in case. I might just uh, use the scooper. Since, you know, it's gonna waste more time. Yeah, check those little babies out all nice and golden brown. Just like you want it. Yep, and I'm gonna keep you updated once we get the first batch out. Okay, once we get once we get the first batch out, all I do just put in the, another second batch. Since you know I kind of put too much oil, I think mean, I think mean, it was a mistake. Don't ever add too much oil, guys, kids. It'll be a waste of time. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't add too much oil. I think. And there you go. And that's our second batch. And I'm going to keep you updated once the second batch is fried up. Hey, got some back. So the second batch is done. So let's take out that second batch of meat. Let's see of mac and cheese bites. Sorry, I said it for, for a bit. Mac and cheese bites. Yeah, you got to take them all out. But I, I'm going to use the tongues, though. So, so you know, I don't know why I use the tongues, but I should use the scooper. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the last batch in. Hey guys, I'm back. So let's put the last batch of mac and cheese bites in there. Yeah, look, the last batch. And boom, let it fry up and stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the last batch is done. Hey guys, I'm back. Ooh, the, the last batch of mac and cheese bites are ready to come out. Because, you know, it's fried enough. Shake it out. Uh-huh. Fried enough. Gotta take, the, take these out. The last one's out. And then turn, oh yeah, turn the stove off. And let it cool off. So, yeah. And I'm going to keep you updated once I show you the mac and cheese bites. Hey guys, I'm back. So there you have it. And <laughs> my delicious mac and cheese bites. Made by me. Mm -hmm. Check it out. The fried mac and cheese goodness of the bite. So yeah. Way too. I'm going to keep you updated once I get my plate out. Hey guys, I'm back. So here are my mac and cheese bites. Just in case. I got five. And let's give it a taste test in the 3, 2, 1. Just, you know, check out the goodness. Mmm. 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 Wow, that, that's some good mac and cheese bites. So, 
she get out all nice and creamy and stuff. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And I'm going to keep you updated once I get done with my mac and cheese bites. Hey, got some back. Man, those mac and cheese bites were, were sure is good. So check it out. Eat by me. And plus, those are the mac and cheese bites. But this time I got to remember, I got to see, I got to cut back on the oil because I didn't add too much on the, on the stove or whatever. So yeah, but I cut these pretty well mac and cheese bites. So yeah, looking good. Mm -hmm, so yeah. Way too, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video tomorrow. I mean, when I want to upload this video, probably tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, or whatever, and stuff. So, yeah. Way too, if you're new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also, hit the notification bell, if you're this channel. So, yeah. Way too, hope you, hope you like this cooking vlog on Mac and Cheese Bites. And it's been your boy, Peace out.